Research now shows that 9% uh, of Americans suffer from depression. 3.4% uh, what they would classify as severe depression, possibly even with suicidal tendencies. So that made me think, uh, we have a lot of patients who come in here and a lot of them have certain health ailments, pain, uh, and a lot of times depression is associated with that. Well, as the pain goes away, it makes sense that now the depression goes with it. Uh, but we have had some people that were diagnosed clinically depressed that didn't necessarily have the pain syndromes that also improved. So you're probably thinking, well, how does upper cervical chiropractic have anything to do with depression? How does the spine affect how you feel, right? Well, let me tell you a story about uh, Michael. Uh, this was uh, oh, several months back, but Michael came to our office. Actually, his mom drug him to our office. Michael was early 50s at this time, and uh, Michael was living in his mom's basement and was suicidal depressed. He actually, uh, I actually asked him straight up, so Michael, you feel like you want to kill yourself sometimes? And he said, yeah, absolutely. And, and his mom sitting right next to him, just tears running down her face. And I'm like, well, what do you do in that situation? He said, well, you know, I can feel it as it's coming on where I just have this, you know, feeling that I just don't want to live anymore. And, uh, you know, and I kind of, I've gotten to where I can tell my mom and she usually will hide the gun to make sure that it's nowhere near, uh, anywhere where I can find it. And uh, mom's just boo-hooing, you know, wiping the tears away. And, uh, and so Michael starts to tell me a story and he says, well, you know, it all started about nine years ago. Um, and uh, it's when his depression started, and it was about uh, January, February, he started to feel the symptoms come on. Uh, by March, he didn't want to go to work. Uh, by April, he had lost his job. By May, he had actually moved into his mom's basement. Now, this wasn't just an, uh, an ordinary guy, right? I mean, Michael actually was a Bank of America executive, upper level executive at one of the largest banks in the world. Drove the BMW, had the nice condo downtown Charlotte overlooking the city. Within, what, five months, Michael went from having the world in the palm of his hands to living in his mom's basement thinking about killing himself. And I asked Michael, I said, so what happened, Michael? What happened prior to that? What happened to prior to January? Oh, nothing. Okay. Any falls, any injuries, any traumas to your head, neck, back, any accidents, any sports injuries? No, can't think of anything. Mom, they're looking at each other, still can't think of anything. Finally, his mom says, you know what, wait a minute. Wasn't that the Christmas that you slid off the road because we had that snow on Christmas Eve and you were going to pick up your sister and you, your car slid off the road and had that accident? Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. And then he was like, you know what? He goes, and I was actually driving my sister's car because two weeks prior to that, I got rear-ended and my car was in shop. So I was driving her car. So I had two accidents within two weeks. And I'm like, aha, uh -huh. I wonder if there's a relationship. So had the accidents in December, January started to feel different. February started to feel much different. By March, didn't want to go to work. By April, his whole life crumbled. He lost his job. By May, he's living in his mom's basement thinking about killing himself. Well, we went ahead, we x-rayed Michael. We found he definitely had a, a misalignment at the top of his neck, the area that houses the brain stem, right up here, right underneath the head. And uh, we checked him and we found pressure at the brain stem. Okay, so we started adjusting him. And uh, within two or three weeks, Michael's whole personality changed. He started coming in smiling at the front desk. He was joking around with the staff. Within six weeks, Michael was driving himself to our office, the first time he had done that in eight or nine years. Within three months, Michael had a job. And he was building up his income, was ready to go back out on his own, and uh, get his life back. All of this within three months because something happened. I mean, and I just have to tell the world about this because there's no telling how many thousands, hundreds of thousands of people that this has happened to, that they have never put the relationship on some sort of trauma to their head, neck, back, that could have created a misalignment in the neck 
that could have now changed the course of their life. And they have no idea. So now they get on these medications, which a lot of times the medications can actually make the symptom worse, even lead to suicidal tendencies, and potentially make their life even worse than it was before the medication. Now, how could this all possibly happen? Well, what happens within the brain is it's not just a spark. It's not just a, a, you know, a, a flash that goes off somewhere in the brain. Every thought, every memory, every emotion travels from the brain to the brain stem to the brain in a circuit. Well, if you have a normal thought, a happy thought, and it travels to the brain stem, and if there's a misalignment there at the top of the neck, then it can alter the emotion. It can alter the thought. Like stepping on a garden hose, what you have going into the brain stem isn't what comes out and goes to the other part of the brain that interprets it. So maybe the initial intention is right happiness or you know a normal thought but it gets altered before it gets to the part it's interpreted now the thoughts altered the emotions alter it was happy now it's sad it was you know normal and now it's abnormal whatever that abnormal may be is what you're reflecting is what your body senses okay that's how a simple little three ounce bone at the top of the neck could be a little bit out of its normal position and remember there's no pain perception in the brain of the brainstem so you don't necessarily have to have neck pain. To have a misalignment there, they could be altering how your brain operates. So if we can find that and we can make a very specific adjustment to that upper part of the neck and get that bone perfectly repositioned, then now the thought is no longer impeded. So now that happy thought, that normal emotion that travels to the brain stem to another part of the brain is unimpeded. It arrives as it's intended. If it starts happy, it ends happy. However the emotion may be, it can all be affected right there. So if you have depression or suicidal tendencies, anxiety, panic attacks, give our office a call. I, won't, I promise you, if you call and you tell them you saw this video, we will sit down and talk to you, find out what your needs are, have the full consultation at no charge. Now, if we think we can help you, we'll explain to you what we need to do from there, okay? Probably be, be some x-rays and go through a more thorough examination. If we don't think we can help you, at least you'll know. You can roll this, check this off the list, move on to something else. But if we can help you, just like Michael, it could literally change from this day forward the rest of your life.